Alex Garland is a formidable talent. He has written his own novels. He's written for video games like DMC and Enslaved Odyssey to the West. He's been involved in movies dating all the way back to the phenomenal 28 Days Later. He directed, although he was uncredited, the awesome Dread film. He wrote and directed Ex Machina, which is awesome, and Annihilation, which was a total mind trip of a film. He's also a creator that likes to toil in the playground of dystopia. He is not shy about putting some very bleak content up on screen, and that's exactly how we have to frame Civil War, which comes out at a very precarious and tumultuous time in society. And I'm not just talking about North American society. All over the world, there is a divisiveness, a lot of it stemming from the perils and the paranoia and the finger-pointing that arose from the pandemic. And now, of course, we're heading into a very important important American election and there are some really really strong opposing factions of people out there and we saw some of that arise in 2021's January 6th insurrection and Alex Garland kind of dives right into the maelstrom of a lot of these conceits although this is all entirely fictionalized it's also a movie that's set a little bit in the future it does show an America that has been ripped apart by division and different ideas and different agendas and different politics. We see Nick Offerman kind of take the stage as this president, but he's a president in American ruin. And in town to town that we go to in this film, we see that there is just constant fighting. Some people are in uniform, some people are in civilian clothes, but they've got all kinds of weaponry and bombs and explosions and choppers and all kinds of mechanized warfare is roaming the streets of cities and towns in America and it's really unsettling to watch all of this. I'm not going to spoil where this movie goes, but I will say I really enjoyed the idea of framing this from the perspective of journalists, photojournalists in the case of Kirsten Dunst Lee, who was out there taking photographs as all hell is breaking loose, and also a traditional journalist, Joel, played by Wagner Mora, who looks a little bit like Pedro Pascal's brother, and he was, of course, unforgettable as Pablo Escobar on the show Narcos. And so those two have this tenuous alliance that kind of look after each other and watch each other's back. And into this mix comes this younger photojournalist who looks up to Lee, Kirsten Dunst's character, She's played by Kaylee Spaney, and she's playing this character named Jesse, and she doesn't quite understand what she's about to get into, and so there's some hesitations as this younger photojournalist joins this group as they travel from one destination to another, and everywhere that they go is incredibly dangerous. Life is very cheap. You'll see dead bodies on the streets. You'll see all kinds of carnage on buildings and down city corridors and town corridors. You'll see destroyed cars everywhere, and it's incredibly unnerving, but in the middle of all this hell, and this is why I thought this movie was so incredible, is you'll see these photographers just stop and capture these moments in black and white or in color, and the movie actually cuts to these photographs, and there's this pause, there's this still life kind of moment where we see all of this manic detail captured in a way that makes it feel so believable that these performers are actually capturing this stuff in real time. And that was something that I really respected about this movie, the kind of 360 60 degree quality of everything. You'll see setup shots with in cars as cars are pulling up to a battle that's already in progress or some kind of protest or something like that. And it just looks incredibly dangerous, but you don't see the rigging and everything. And I don't know how much of it was CG'd out or whatever, but you don't feel like you're on a movie set in this film. It feels very electric. It feels incredibly tenuous and dark and dangerous. There's this visceral kind of quality, this verisimilitude that you just feel transported to this. Now, it's hard not to look at the news and have that all color what you're witnessing as well. I mean, it looks like, you know, almost documentary footage of our worst nightmares sort of existing right now. And Alex Garland is certainly manipulating that and playing with that, but he's also created a beautifully composed film. It's absolutely gorgeous. The shots are incredible, and I know that A24 probably spent more on this film than they normally do on any of their other films, which are all kind of lower budget. This one has a budget, and there's some really big epic vehicle shots and some great giant exteriors with all kinds of devastation and some really fantastic character moments as well, which Alex Garland is 
very adept at creating, and he's got absolutely sensational actors in Dunst. I love seeing Mora and Spaney together. They're almost like this alternate reality Joel and Ellie kind of creation, because Spaney looks a lot like the Ellie character from The Last of Us, and Mora looks so much like Pedro Pascal, it's crazy. It was kind of blowing my mind. And of course, they're dealing with their own dystopian realities in each of those fictions. And so that was a bit of a weird trip for me, but it was hard for me not to make that connection because we're living with some of these weird realities and all of the entertainment that we're consuming these days. Why are we so obsessed about dystopian and annihilation and the end of the world as our entertainment and our fiction? I don't know, but something tells me that the creation of this film was enough for Alex Garland to say, you know what, I don't want to direct anymore because that's what's coming out across the news right now. He wants to take a break from directing. He's still going to be in the business. He's going to be writing things, and we'll see lots of work from him. But this looked like a massive endeavor, and it's beautifully made. Like, it is a really, really nerve-wracking experience. And I think it is, for me, it's the composition and the artistry, just the management of all of these little details that ring true, you know? And I loved seeing what a photojournalist would have to kind of throw themselves into. Some of these moments are a little bit unbelievable, like they just run into gunfire across uh, city streets and stuff like that. And some of it got a little over the top and silly for me. I feel, I mean, I hope to God that photojournalists aren't doing some of the stuff that's portrayed in this movie, but those images are indelible. And I've been haunted by some of the shots from this film since I've seen it. I'm not talking about the gunfire shots, I'm talking about the filmic shots. Just beautiful, beautiful work. Another standout performer in this film is Jesse Plemons. Why is he always so good in everything that you see him in? Loved his performance in this. And I was also really taken aback by the musical choices. The score is great, but there's lots of really beautiful, folky and sort of quieter, introspective music as war is raging. And it was such a weird juxtaposition. There was no celebration of the cacophony or anything sort of underlying how big and explosive some of this imagery was. It was contemplative and, and it made you think about it and it was quiet as you're seeing this chaos unfold. And sometimes the sounds were just fully removed and you just hear this music as helicopters are raining down bullets or whatever. It, it was a wild, intelligent choice. I do think you should see this film. I think you know what you're getting into when you see a movie that's called Civil War and you see trailer footage like the stuff I've been showing you. It is this movie. It's harrowing. It's hard to watch. It's nerve-wracking. I was anxious watching a lot of this. I was uncomfortable watching a lot of this. But in the hands of Alex Garland and all of these terrific actors that he had to help him tell this tale, this was just an experience, man. Civil War is awesome. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. 